Ricardo in Huntington Station, New York. See more better here with ChristianEyewear.com where believing is seeing. And home to the free prescription lenses and home to all the brands that you have grown to love over the years. I'll be cutting your high index 167 lenses with DuraVision Platinum for your Versace 3218 size 53 color 5122. And of course I forgot to write that on your temporary card here which is the black and platinum, the black and silver. Let me take everything out of the original packaging as Versace sends it to me. Of course, you got your card of authenticity, your international warranty, and multiple language, which I have no idea what they are and what they say, but it's in there. And of course, your Italian leather Versace case, your Versace cleaning cloth, and the star of the show, the main attraction, Comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. And again, the Versace 3218. Color 5122. The 53 eye size 17 bridge 140 temple length. And of course, all Versace's made in Italy. It has the Versace Medusa emblem on each temple. And it has the Greco pattern engraved into both temples going all the way down the length of the temple but let me pop out your original demo lenses one of which says Versace on there put your frame into the tracing element of my block or assign this barcode number to it you are secret agent 2965 so that years from now should you need new lenses for this frame I can send them right to your home and you'll see how to pop them in. A little stylus is going to pop up and go around and trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left here at ChristianEyewear.com. Again, where believing is seeing and where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any frame that I offer and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipts has my federal ID tax number so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars you will get reimbursed for this purchase. Now you'll get your full reimbursement from your health savings account flex card. You will get I do not accept any insurance plan, so if you submit the itemized receipt that I can provide to you upon request, you will get your out-of-network reimbursement when you submit that receipt. Now that is the shape of the lens that I'll be cutting. I'm going to move on to the next screen, add your pupillary distance, and let's do the optical center height of 22. Let me write that on there, 22. Actually, I do want to do one thing. Let me do one thing. 67. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. And let's see. I need to get your lenses prepped. Your right eye reads minus 550, minus 1 at 180, minus 550, minus 1 at 180. Let me make sure everything is on zero. Okay. Now I can put the power drum on minus 550, take the lens out of the protective sleeve. Oh, I didn't have, usually I rotate it to find the spherical component, but I nailed it dead on. Let me check your astigmatism correction. That looks good. And I'm going to place three dots on your lenses. One, two, and three. That center one always works well, and that's the right lens. Let's do the same thing now for the left lens. Oh, the nice thing about Zeiss... They document everything so let me write on here what you are getting these are the single vision a spheric lens the power is minus 550 minus 1 DuraVision Platinum of course you got the code up here DVP for DuraVision Platinum and this is the 1.767 index let me write on here that this is the right lens because you're going to receive all the manufacturers original packaging you will see my handwriting on these packets when you get them we're going to do the same thing for the left eye, minus 5 and a quarter, minus 1 at 180, minus 5 and a quarter, minus 1, and we stay at the 180. We're going to change the power by one step, take the lens out, put it in here. Now I have to rotate the lens, find the geometric center of the lens, the spherical component, the astigmatism correction, everything lines up. We're going to put the three dots on this lens. And label this one L, which is Latin for not right, which is just like me. And I'm not going to say it. I'll get to it. So again, let's mark the left lens. 
single vision aspheric and I'll explain what that means a little bit later door vision platinum the 167 lens and this is the left lens now again if you guys missed any of that let me recap <laughs> you knew that bad joke was coming somewhere you knew it had to so this is a block I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting so I need two double-sided adhesive stickers of which I've got the two stickers here the black side is the sticky side stick that one on the first block do the same thing now for the second one pull the paper away to make the black side sticky that silver button on the back is a magnet it's going to do its job twice the first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm and the reason why I put those three dots on there it tells me that it's oriented in there just perfectly in regards to your astigmatism correction we're going to get everything laid out nicely and hit that button the arm is going to come down place the block onto the right lens we're going to do the same thing now for the left lens pull the paper away to make the black side sticky line up the magnet grab the left lens put it on the platform same pd same optical center height get everything lined up perfectly hit that button the arm is going to come down place the block onto the left lens now this is the blocker this is the tracer this is what's known as the edger this is what's going to cut your lenses down from this size to this size. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, buy their own, put it on your kitchen counter. Then you could cut your own lenses at home and you won't need this guy with the two thumbs and the bad jokes to do it for you. But the wheel that's going to cut the actual lenses is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to act like a heavy grit sandpaper to grind away your lens material. This wheel in the center that has that little valley or V-shaped bevel is going to apply the bevel to the lens of the, of the frame. So I'm going to wake up the computer. Job ID number 2965. 2965, or as, as I like to say, installment 2965 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. So as I like to joke, spoiler alert, stay tuned to episode number 330 million because something wacky is going to happen. I'll be a little old in the tooth then, but hey, I'll still be wacky. So, here's something you don't normally see. These are high index 167 lenses. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen. I am going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of high index, and I'm going to place a slightly heavier bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens. Press the sticker on there firmly. Now the magnet's going to do its job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck. Or as I like to call it, the Charles, because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck. Did I mention free bad jokes with the purchase of every pair of glasses sold? So the door closes, the clamp shuts, the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that the lens is large enough to fit into the frame. And you can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the right lens. And the old carpenter saying, measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing which will be interesting to see how much you have. Now, the last time I made a pair of prescriptions for Ricardo several years ago, his prescription was not that high, so. Now, water is spraying onto the lens. That's something you normally don't see in my videos with polycarbonate, but plastic, high-index plastic, and Tribex cut wet, meaning that water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now, you do have 100% UVA and UVB built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin, so you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes. Unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that you have to reapply every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun, this is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. Now Zeiss has partnered with the American Cancer Society because they offer the most complete UV protection of any lab. Their protection goes all the way up to 400 nanometers. Most companies stop at 380, but Zeiss is the most complete. Hence the term you get sunglass level UV protection even in the clear lenses. Now, SV stands for single vision, which means you don't have a bifocal. AS stands for aspheric, so polycarbonate lenses are 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. High index 167 is 30% thinner and lighter than polycarbonate. Now, so we thinned them out, but AS stands for aspheric, which simply means not spherical. 
A spherical lens is round in every direction, giving an ugly cosmetic look. These lenses are much flatter to fit in today's flatter curvature frames. This gives you a wider field of view and a better cosmetic look. Now you have the DuraVision Platinum anti-glare coating, which is the nicest of all the anti-glares from Zeiss. Anti-glare is three features in one. The first feature is it reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain. But from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead fluorescent lights, and such, the second feature is it reduces reflection. So when someone's looking at you, they're not looking at their reflection in your glasses, so it makes for much better eye contact. And if you take a selfie, you're less likely to see the phone in the lens. So a little lever has come out. At the end of that lever is a spinning disc, the fine t the fine grade disc that's applying the safety bevel. Now the third feature of the anti-glare, which is the practical side, is it comes with the industry's hardest scratch coating, the machine that applies the anti-glare coating. It costs well over a million dollars. It takes over 24 hours to vaporize eight different coatings onto your lens. So because of the time and the expense, they put the industry's hardest scratch coating on there to protect your time and investment. So it's getting the safety bevel on the back of the lens. In just a moment, we'll see if the lens fits first time around or if we'll have to take it down at all. So I'm going to open this door with my mind in just a moment. My mind's working slowly. Okay, there we go. I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can. I just got to stare at it for a couple hours. Why didn't anyone believe me? All right, so I'll make sure all the optical sawdust is off. We're going to see if the lens fits first time around. And... As close, this is the one of the few times you're going to see me using heat. I do that for high index lenses. The polycarbonate is unbreakable. The high index lenses with the pros come the cons. We can get them even thinner. Oops, someone's name there. HIPAA. HIPAA. Don't rewind that and look at that. But they can flake. That's the one thing about them. So I like to heat the frame up and now it pops in there easily. So we're going to flip this over to L, which is Latin for not right. Place the sticker on there firmly. Place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby. Or today I'm calling it the Ricardo. Hit the green start button. The door closes. The clamp shuts. The lens will be traced again by the two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the left side of the frame. On the first go around, you can see as it's doing that. Now the second go around, the old Jewish carpenter saying measure twice, cut once. Or was the old Jewish carpenter saying, love thy neighbor as thyself? But it was measuring the thickness to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. Look at that, Ricardo. No edge thickness. That's what's nice about the 167 high index lenses. Even with your power, which is roughly twice the average prescription, you have no edge thickness. So I'm going to go ahead and take this block off, pull the sticker away. Dry that off, add to my sticker collection. We're gonna come down here to the lensometer. I don't have to move the axis wheel because it was always at 180. I wanna read the power of the lens. And I'm getting minus 550, exactly halfway between five and six in the red numbers. That's because the unit of measurement we use in the optical world is called a diopter, spelled D-I-O-P-T-E-R. It starts at zero goes up in quarter increments 0 0.25 0 0.50 0 0.75 1 you're on the 22nd rung of a ladder you are nearsighted meaning that with your glasses off you can read your fingerprint and you can even see every blue dot in that ink on my finger but once everything starts to move away it gets blurry so once the you have five and a half diopters of far-sighted correction once the image is the correct size you have an additional one diopter of astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike or the letters P and F. Think of it as the fine two knob. And that fine two knob we're going to spin to 180. A straight line is 0 to 90 to 180. It's actually the same number as 0, but we just use 180. So I have it on 180. Let me check the second curvature. Again, you have a 550 this way, minus 550. A steeper curve, one additional diopter this way. 90 degrees away and it's how we rotate those to make them nice and crisp and I'm on 650 exactly halfway between 6 and 7 how did we get there remember high school math we add these two like signs together better yet let's use 
easily remember terms. If someone had borrowed five dollars and fifty cents from you, then they borrowed another dollar, they would owe you six fifty before you kick in the interest. That's where at six fifty in the red. Now your left eye, you only need twenty-one steps of far-sighted correction, but the same amount of astigmatism correction at the same axis, which is rare. These first two numbers are real values to be concerned with. This last number could be anywhere from zero to one eighty. So it's kind of ironic. It's the same. Uh, you have a one in one hundred eighty chance of having the same number, and you nailed it, Ricardo. Now this frame, the Versace three two one eight unisex frame, sells for two hundred fifty dollars, complete with one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses. The upgrade to one six seven high index is fifty nine dollars. The DuraVision Platinum Anti-Glare, the top of the line is $99.99 for a total of $409.97 tax-free. The reason why I always like to point out tax-free now is a lot of people on the internet are having to charge tax. I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina does not collect tax on medical devices, so that's how I'm able to remain tax-free. So tax-free, free shipping, and one free pair of clear single vision polycarbonate lenses. So let me dry everything off there. Run my thumbnail around to make sure it's all off the lens. Find your frame. I already lost it. Look at that. There it is. So let's see if it'll snap in on its own. I doubt it. I'm probably going to have to use the... Yeah, let me use some heat. Just makes the plastic a little bit more pliable. So, we're going to tuck this in at the outside corners. Press down the nose. There it goes. It snaps right in there. We're going to take the block off. Pull the sticker away. Again, use my hand approved drying method. Stick that on my collection. I don't have to spin the axis wheel because that's still on 180. I'm going to put it in over that black dot read the power and I'm getting minus five and a quarter one tick mark going away from five towards six let's read your astigmatism correction the second curve and we're at minus six and a quarter one tick mark going away from six towards seven now I want to measure your pupillary distance and optical center height hang on my website developer is messaging me all right so he was just letting me know this frame is now on the website Ricardo has purchased frames for me previously and uh, now that I'm promoting ChristianEyewear.com now that I have my own frame line collection I just wanted to make sure this one was on there. So I'm going to place the PD, uh, the, the card around to measure your PD and optical center height of 22. Place the PD stick against my thumb on your right lens when you hold it up to the left lens that is correct. Now I just rub that one off. That is 22, not to the bottom of the lens, but to the middle of the plastic. Because again, your lens goes halfway into the frame. That's 22 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. The last thing I want to do as part of final inspection as I clean your lenses is mention that when you get these in the mail, Ricardo, there's a small chance these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get them in standard alignment first. He sent me a picture of your frame on the website. Look at that, Ricardo. How cute is that? But uh, it's also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them down on the counter, press down. There is no wobble. Now, when I say wobble, I'm part of that 80%. When I take off my Christian eyewear frames and press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. And again, because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other, that's why 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. And stop by your local place. It only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust a pair of glasses perfectly. Now, I'm wearing the Christian eyewear Philippians 413. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And of course, this frame is available on my website. And all the brands that I've offered you over the years, Ray-Ban, Polo, Versace, Oakley, they will slowly be added. This is the first one added to the website. If there's a Versace frame that you want that isn't listed, just go to the Contact Me page of the website and I can add it for you. So I'm going to flip that over, press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and that neither temple is askew. Make sure the 
the hinges are the same tension on each side. Now, I send out a selfie request in every package. Ricardo, I would love to have one of, of selfie of you wearing these. Turn your head just a little bit so we can get that Medusa Versace emblem on the side. Now, I'm in a rush because i got to get these to him to the post office before it closed. I'm going to do expedited shipping because he's going away to college and he's definitely going to do a whole lot of studying. Right? You're going to cure cancer so I can retire early. Right? Right, Ricardo? So, but briefly, I just want to say, remind everyone that Jesus loves you unconditionally. I'm just trying to get a conditional like. Give, if you like what you've seen, hit the thumbs up button below the video. Click the my icon in the bottom right hand side of the screen it is the wooden eye with the golden cross that way you subscribe to my Christian eyewear YouTube channel you can click the bell icon so you'll get notified of future frame and lens combinations again if you have any questions or if there's a frame you're looking for just go to the contact me page of the website or you can email me directly at info at Christian eyewear.com you can follow me on Facebook by that name with a space in between Christian Space Eyewear. Instagram and Twitter is one word, Christian Eyewear. But Ricardo, thank you for your repeat purchase. Thank you for making your life better by going off to college. Everyone benefits from additional learning. You're never too old to learn. So, but again, thank you for the purchase of the Versace 3218 glasses, color 5122 and the black and platinum there's also a black and gold color shiny black and gold this is the matte black and platinum but right now versace's taking a couple weeks to get everything shipped from italy hopefully after the pandemic the shipping will speed up but again thank you for the purchase of this frame with your high index zeiss duravision platinum anti-glare lenses and now hopefully everyone's gotten a chance to see how i bring god's loving feeling back to glasses thank you <music>